Okay, let's go ahead and do problem number two. So it says the following is a frequency table from a sample of students on their favorite media app. Construct a Pareto chart. So we're going to start by clicking on var1 and calling this media app. And then clicking on var2 and calling this frequency. Then you just enter everything in. So we have Facebook and that has 1,754, Instagram, Instagram, 1,067, then we have Pinterest, whoops, Pinterest, and that is 467, whoops, 467, and then Snapchat, whoops, Snapchat, is 142 and then Twitter so Twitter and Twitter has uh, 1283 and then other is 511 okay so then you just go to uh, so after everything everything is entered to make sure it's correct then you just go to whoops then you just go to graph bar plot Okay, and then with summary. So it's a graph bar plot with summary. Left click, and then the categories, that's gonna be the media app. Frequency is the second one. You just always pick the first one and second one. Let me do it again in case you blinked. It's graph bar plot with summary. Pick the first one, pick the second one. And uh, right here, order by. So you want to order by count descending. That's the most important part, okay? So order by count descending. And I think you can give it a title somewhere. There's a title. Let's call it um, hmm, Favorite Media App. Favorite Media App. Apps. Compute. And there is our Pareto chart. So that's it. So you see uh, that is the chart. So if you had to, like, draw it on, um, you know, like a piece of paper or something, you could. Let me just move this over here. You would just give, like, a rough, a very, very rough, rough sketch of it. So, like, I'm just going to abbreviate stuff. I'll, I'll put... Uh, FB for Facebook, Twitter, I don't know why I spelled Twitter and didn't spell Facebook, Instagram, let's put inst, other, Pinterest, let's put pin, and then snap. And then you just add the bars, so something like this, it's a pretty bad bar, then something like this. A ruler helps. <laughs> I don't have one. Well, I'm using a pad, so it's kind of hard to use the ruler and the pad. And then something like this, and then something like this, and then you know, have some numbers here. So like, you know, 500 or or 1,000, etc. So that's the idea, uh, and that is the Pareto chart. And the Pareto chart, the main idea behind the Pareto chart, is that you know it shows you what the most important things are, so you can clearly see that Facebook is the winner, right, because it's the biggest bar, and it's always count descending. That's it.